Williams at Canadian Yachting Magazine, and I am with Derek Mater of Executive Yacht. We are on board the Azimut 55S, coming out of Toronto Outer Harbour Marine, and heading out towards Lake Ontario. Real nice cruise here. We're sitting at 2,800 RPM and about just here over 21 knots. This one's got the full uh, G Series uh, navigation and ship systems integration system. So we roll through um, battery and power distribution. All internal switching on the vessel shows you what's live, what's not. Uh, the fact here that shows that the ignition is on and the short power is connected. So it gives you a warning to make sure that you're not leaving the dock uh, with the short power cord connected. Your cutlery drawer. Everything in its place. Just below the helm seat, you've got the same for your dishes. All your cookware in its own spot, dedicated. Great versatility for entertaining and cruising. We've got a magnificent helm seat here. Uh, allows you to go both go uh, up and down, Oops. fore and aft as well. So for the captain, ultimate comfort. Actually, I'll show you this. I'll show yeah. you both. So you got a flip up bolster and a flip up footrest. Full ability to stand and look outside the uh, opening hardtop. Love that. The wind in the face. Everybody wants it. That's part of the reason we go boating. So let's head down below and see some of the accommodations. So as we head down below, we've got a, a grab rail in a natural position as you come down into the companionway. Full length. We move forward into the VIP stateroom forward. We've got great headroom all the way through, a full island bed with the ability to stand right beside each side to comfortably get in the bed after a long day of boating. As we come out of the VIP, we've got an ensuite and your day head, a full stall shower, not a wet shower like we see in a lot of these vessels, guest stateroom uh, with great natural light. Got a small storage cubby here for cell phones, um, MP3 players, iPods, that sort of thing. And a power outlet down here to plug in all your accessories as well. As we go midship, we step into the, uh, the a midship master stateroom. We've got a combination washer dryer unit inboard as you come inside. Great headroom all the way through. You've got, again, a full island bed. Allows you access to each side comfortably. Um, you've got a nightstand on each side, again, for all your personal belongings, as well as a, uh, an outlet on each side to plug in all your accessories. Uh, this one has a TV on the forward bulkhead. Got a full vanity that's lit. Uh, again, great natural light. We do have an opening porthole here as well with a screen. It's not in here now. A uh, great spot to plug in your laptop, do a little catch up on emails, that sort of stuff, which we shouldn't be doing on a boat anyway. <laughs> and then a power source at the bottom as well. Full of safety gear in this case in the uh, master closet. Forward, we've got our crew quarters. Rare on a 55 to have crew quarters as well as a tender garage. In this case, they put it in the bow. It was a windy, stormy day when we ran the Azimut 55S, but the obvious quality and exciting features came through loud and clear. 
See the February 26th issue of Canadian Yachting for this yacht and the other dream boats in our annual Boat Show issue. I'm Andy Adams, editor at Canadian Yachting Magazine. Thanks for listening.